at last stride level is then? We still have to. I've gone out of my head. I've gone out of my mind. How I wish I had stayed so blind to Dagon's vision. <laughs> it was easy to find. Can't control what I say. Can't control what I do. All I do is praise Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, Cthulhu for talking. Okay, that's it. Cthulhu, yeah. <laughs> Aye, aye. Oh, I actually finished listening to The Shadow over Innsmouth, and I was horrified <laughs> and screaming at the end. It was just like, ah! Oh! Why? Why would I be the DM for something that I We find have so, so many Cthulhu. It, but we probably have like multiple copies of every Cthulhu uh, story in this house. Probably. In multiple editions, probably. including an Acklo and Deep Speech. Probably. Hey everybody, this is uh um um uh, uh Oh my god, um, we wanna play so Murder Hobo Inc. <laughs> Murder Hobo Inc., uh the Constellation Campaign, also known as Cthulhu oh. Rises. <laughs> so we are changing the name. Oh yeah, no, the only person not changing the name is uh our, our fearless. Oh, okay, leader. I went back to the old name in my post tonight. Wow, <laughs> great job, just, great just... job. Guys, uh, uh, we are in for a, a special special treat tonight as the, uh, I get ready to kill all of my players and I no longer have to run this campaign. But because I'm here, I have to tell you all the fun stuff. You can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. You can watch our video YouTube archive. Also on Twitch, if you subscribe, uh, if you want to join in some D&D &D talk, talk about the horrible things that are going to happen tonight, uh, you can join our Discord servers. Uh, if you actually want to play in one of our games, you can't play in the campaigns unless I kill one of these people. So well, here's hoping. Uh, but you can uh, hit us up on Twitter and hit us up on mhoboinc at gmail.com. If you want to buy some interesting, cool uh, 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 RPG swag, you can buy it at one of the links over there, as well as listen to our <coughs> audio podcast so you don't have to see Cleo's face. <laughs> to be fair though the fun is whenever you make fun of her she gives a dirty look it's not a good dirty look but you just try and work on it and eventually she'll have the meanest looking look in the whole group uh i grabbed the wrong sheet of paper that had me uh whatever else i wanted to say uh okay we're at the sponsor part now hey carol uh you want to talk about one of the sponsors which one you mean this one big one. Oh, you know what is that some this adventure is, sense? It is some adventure sense. Oh my god. Adventure <laughs> sense. I can't even talk. I'm already I dreading. I, just, I usually <laughs> do a good job at this. I think it's because of that impending sense of dread as to what's to come. But uh, it, one of our sponsors is uh, Adventure Odd Fish Games, who, makers of Adventure Sense. Uh, I have the tavern one, and it smells really good. Smells very smoky and spicy, and I, I like it. I'm going to open it up. Uh, and they also are the makers of the Shine. Uh, what the heck? Pro, I'll call Shine it the system. Well, I'll call it a system of prompts to help you uh, write. Uh, I believe it's stories, not so much uh, RPGs. Not so much campaigns, but right. they're coming out but, with something to do that. And I believe they're going to do a Kickstarter too at some point soon ish. For the how to RPG with your cat. Yeah. After that, we'd also like to great. thank our sponsors, <coughs> uh, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. For when you're rolling like shit, and you know what? I just realized I actually have to roll dice in this game, and I don't have my dice. Uh, so when you're rolling like shit, Pirate Dog Dice, you'll still roll like shit. But it'll look nice. And with that, Let's go around and introduce people at the table while I hastily try and put my dice table and dice tower huh. together. Uh, so <laughs> let's start with uh, Ernie. Why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, so uh, my name's Ernie, and I'm playing uh, Riley, the navigator. Uh, Riley <laughs> is a uh, warlock half-elf, and he's just happy to explore the world. And try everything. So uh, this time, 
he's going to try and apprehend a thief. See how that goes. Mm. All right. Uh, DJ, how about on to you? Uh, yes. Hello. I am DJ, and I'll be playing Bran, the physician, plague doctor, and apparently a monk. And I'm sure everything will go perfectly fine. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that out loud. Uh, uh, Caitlin, Cleo, why don't you go next? Why is it such a sigh? Hi, I'm Caitlin, <laughs> a.k.a. Cleo, the Azamar sorcerer that plays tonight, who's a little bit of a diva. Because so godlike and awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. And finally, Carol, who are you again? Who am I again? Well, uh, tonight, well, normally in my day, you know, outside of here, I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, commission mini painter, graphic designer by trade. But at night, especially this night, I am Anja. 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 If we can get that straight. If we can get it straight. We'll see what how Kyle pronounces it tonight. Uh Anja Jaeger. Uh my what the hell am I? I have half elven. Sorry, I'm half elven ranger. Who will eventually be a monster hunter at level three. Ba 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 ba. All right. I don't know why my mouth has decided to betray me. Hopefully my dice won't tonight. Maybe my mouth will instead. That's not that's not gonna help you. I don't like <laughs> dice rolling. We don't do that stuff here. Come on. That's why I don't have any of the dice out ever. All right, Ganja. That's good. Um <laughs> so uh let's recap. Uh last time, session two, <coughs> we're on board a ship. You had been sailing for a few days when the ship's cook. Ooh, can I find a name? I can't. Uh, Nebby. Oh. Nebby. 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 Uh, I had to remember that. I have all of their names around here somewhere, but I forgot Nebby's. So Nebby found a couple of holes in the ship, and you guys had to essentially bail out the ship as you continued your travels. Uh, to the town of Frizzante, where you were going to pick up the final bit of cargo for the Hazel's Folly to take to the island of Harzeen, your final destination. Uh, upon inspection, they were some very curious-looking holes, but who cares? Shove a few potatoes in there, and they seal <laughs> up. Averagely, not at all. Potatoes aren't aren't good sealants for ships, it turns out. <laughs> I cared. I'm the one that actually investigated it. Yeah. I'm the one that tried to seal it. You did, but I tried to figure out what the hell put those holes there. And it's not good. It's really not good. I'm sure you're never going to encounter it, guys. I mean, it's D&D and, <laughs> and Lovecraft. Fucked. What? <laughs> we are so fucked. <laughs> but after even, a get, of... <laughs> even if we get out of tonight, I mean... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, you are all right. It gives me a chance to make sure I don't say the words uh or um very often. You <laughs> make it into the town of Rosante where you are greeted by greeted is not the right word. You are stared at and hostily looked upon as you enter the shambly rotting town of Rosante, a place where all manners of life live shortly to be eaten by sea creatures you <coughs> begin by exploring the town uh, some of you head off to the Dagonet Inn no play on words there uh, totally coincidence uh, uh, while our uh, warlock went to the repository where he met Lycor Sarwin who asked for his book in order to look into the secrets of the repository the place where all the books from all the deceased members of the town end up. And we found some interesting things about Farzine and about some thing called Dagon. It wasn't terrible. 
Meanwhile, our other three adventurers enjoyed a nice meal and decided to go explore a temple on top of a hilltop where <laughs> they discovered a li little bit more dreadful things before uh, having to flee away from the horrendous place <coughs> and find everything that was oh, there, God. unfortunately. Maybe you'll do that tonight. Who knows? Uh, I don't. Uh, on your way back into town, you met up again with Riley, who had spent quite a lot of time studying at the library and copying a new spell down. Um, shit, I did it again. And in the wee hours of the morning, you arrive back at the Dagonet Inn with Captain Kenza standing over the body of one Ven Cordo, a dwarf who had been tasked with bringing the uh, satchel... Uh, full of stones to Captain Kenza and hand it off, but he is now lying in her arms, eyes open wide, unbreathing, a pale look on his face, seemingly dead. And Captain Kenza turns to you and says, The thief went that way. And you turn to look, and very far away, you could probably run, but it would take some time to catch him. Uh, uh, is the thief making off? And he's headed for the temple, right? He is heading that direction, yes. I shall give chase immediately. All right. And we'll also give chase immediately. I guess we will go, although I don't want to go there. Do you really want to go there, Bran? I'm already gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I go. I go. I have no choice, I'm assuming. <laughs> you can you stay have if you want. There's a dead you can dwarf split there. the party. I mean... They have a fire inside. You can warm him up a little bit if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> it's okay. I'll go to the tower. Or I'm not tower. sure if I was going with uh, cannibalism or necrophilia, but your dealer's choice. You're gross. Anyway. Me? Yes. <laughs> uh, so the four of you run off after the small figure in the distance uh, leaving poor Vin Cordo to certainly die roll me initiative oh, so he already did uh, that's pretty good I'm going to use my dice Eight. 21 Eight. oh my goodness Apparently, I want to get back there. Apparently, I do want to get back there. Who would have figured? <coughs> Ernie? Yeah, the eye stumbled. 13. 13. And Bran, I missed you. I apologize. I have a four. Wow, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a hard choice. There's someone who could possibly need help and everything else you need over in that direction. Uh, so with that, Anja, you begin running. Are you taking, getting as far ahead as you can? He's about 150 feet away. Uh, yes. I'm going to try to close as much. I would like to ideally catch him before he gets to the place. I don't really want to go. So I'm motivated to try to catch him. So I'm going to run spend my entire uh, round running all right and my move by the way is 30 feet 30 feet <coughs> we're going 60 feet okay mm uh, with that we are to riley yeah i'm running right all after 60 this feet yep okay wait actually actually, actually. 150 feet? Yeah, Eldritch Blast is range of 120. Never mind. I run. Okay. <laughs> With that, the small figure turns around, sees the two of you coming, and bolts like crazy, uh, gaining a lot more ground on you guys, unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, hey. Down to Cleo. Bolting away from us? It's almost like a thief does not want to be captured. Hmm. How far away is that, that 
Perception. From you, 200 feet. Oh, shit. Go fly. Yeah. Um, do we have enough rope <laughs> to throw at it? <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it's do you want to chase after him? Do you want to run as fast as you can? Or do you want to be measured about it? Do I want to measure what? Do you only want to run 30 feet and then try and do something else, essentially? How open is this area? Like, could we tie a rope between trees? I don't know. <laughs> is it, so you are at the far edge of town, the farthest away from the actual uh, dock itself. There is the wall that is partially breaking down here. The figure has run down uh, 200 feet along the wall there. You do see lights of some guard watches. Uh, about Why can't the guards feet. get him? Well, they weren't paying attention. It's like I'm going to yell to the guard. Out. Yo, get that guy. Okay. Can they hear me? <laughs> do I throw rocks up at them? <laughs> Let's say you run 60 feet ahead and give me a charisma check. Persuasion. Persuasion. Mm, oh, yikes. Eight. Let's just no, it's a plus Ugh. five. So I only rolled a three. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll I'll see if they here. help uh, uh, later on. And Bran, what are you doing? And will give full chase this, to this round. Okay. But he is keeping his eyes open to see if anything else is either following ahead or <coughs> laying in wait. Okay. Uh, with what you have, you see about the same thing as Cleo did looking around. You see guards um, on the walls. Uh, looking in, kind of eyeballing the situation that's going on, but not doing anything. Mostly a confused look on their face. Um, the bridge, uh, bridges, the wall is crumbling in some sorts, and there is a bit of uh, issues going forth. And the, uh, the uh, thief has run a bit farther, as what you can tell from there. At this point, I'm going to lose initiative, and we are going to go in order of who's in lead to following you guys. And the thief runs 25 feet and makes a beeline into a bunch of buildings. And I need to roll. Okay. And would you like us to continue? Who? Let's start with Anja. Okay, yeah. I keep going after him. I make sure I took note of where he turned, and I'm going to just keep following if I get that far. Okay. You pass by the guards. They're just looking at you. Riley? Uh, so this thief is out of the eyesight now, right? I saw Currently him going to this eyesight. building. What building did he run into? He ran into an alleyway. Oh, he ran into an alley? Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll I'll just try and follow. I okay. feel like I'm being trapped, but yeah, let's do this. Cleo, thanks to your helpful yelling as you run by the guards, they say, he went down that alley right there, going right past the repository. They're not going to help? Well, he gave you directions. Isn't that nice? You only rolled an eight. Can I try to persuade him like, oh, don't you want to help me? I'm just a weak and feeble female. No, you tried that last time. Intimidate him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll an intimidate check. I believe in you. 20, not natural. <laughs> He's intimidated by me. <laughs> I help out. If you take the second street before where he turns, you might be able to catch him. Mm. What? Scars are useless. 
For all we know, they're in cahoots. And Bran. <coughs> Seeing that he's gone in the alleyway and he clearly has the advantage. Bran is actually going to attempt to go up to the top of one of the buildings and then go above and chase that way and try to keep it eyes view. See, make sure he doesn't slip away anywhere. All right. Make an athletics check. Eleven. You run for quite a while before you're able to find a place to get up. Um, you're not quite up to the roofs yet. You will be at the roofs at the end of your next turn. Okay. Uh, and with that, we go back to the thief. He is going to continue running. No, it There's like no townspeople to, right to help us if we're like, yo. Two Remember, o'clock in the guy. morning. Yeah, it's very early in the morning. Hmm. You're lucky the guards are actually awake enough to offer you insightful advice. Okay. And Anja, we are back to you. You are about to reach the alley at this turn, if you like. Um, I want to take an action to... Well, I can, actually, I can draw as part of an attack. Uh, I think. Right, I got two weapon fighting. Um, actually, I will draw my weapons and I'm going to keep going. Okay. This guy probably is the one that also killed the dwarf. So, I mean, he's not... At least we're guessing. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. You turn down the alleyway and there is the guy <coughs> in front of you. Looks like he had to struggle over some uh, uh, puddles in the road because the road is not being well kept. Uh, so has slowed down a little bit. He's actually about 100 feet away from you at this point. Oh, God damn. All right. Well, I keep going and I'm going to yell, stop. Is that right? All right, Riley. Stop. Not um, <laughs> how far away is the alley from me? It's going to take you 60 feet. Ah, shit. All right. Yeah, I guess I'll use my dash to get to the alley. And I that's it, I guess, since okay. I used a dash. <coughs> do I see the thief? You do see the thief far cool. off in the distance. Uh, About... Like the guard had said, he's heading, he's going to run right past the repository. Cleo! Run, run, run. Are you going to take advantage of the advice the guards gave you? Yeah, I guess I will. And go after him. And then try to scope out any potential bystanders to help out. <laughs> Alright, I tell you what. Roll me a D100. <laughs> for bystanders. Are you serious? I am serious. I'm going to screw you over here. I this mean, is Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> D100 is the system. Can I just do it on this thing, right? You roll two, do two D10s. Okay. One is the like, tens. <laughs> one is the tens. One is the ones digit. No, they actually have a D10. Do they have a per do they have a percentile? They must yes, have that's what you want to use. Is it's it looks like the two ten dies together. Mm -hmm. I'm really confused. It says four. So you rolled. Right, you rolled an O four. There is like two zeros and a four. That's yep. an O four. That's a four. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, you rolled the right thing. Dang it! Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you run, you take the alleyway uh, heading uh, in the direction that the guards had mentioned to you. Do me a favor, make an acrobatics check as you run across some moss that has been growing <laughs> along the alley floor. It's a shortcut. It's not the main road. So I have a disadvantage, so I have to roll it twice. You have disadvantage? I don't know. Apparently. My shoot's saying I do. You should? Oh, uh you're not, you shouldn't have any armor, though. That's the only thing I can think that might cause it, but I can't imagine why. 
Uh, just go ahead and give me the first number that shows up, I suppose. I mean, I just, I rolled it once, but I wasn't sure. A 10, he's not that great anyway. <laughs> not great anyway. Why would I have to... Take this shortcut, you slam into a wall as you slip on some moss, fall to the ground, but you see some people throwing some crap out into the street. Uh, and the, oh, oh my goodness! And they pick you up to help you up, and that is the end of you, Bran. You climb. It is people. Yeah, okay. someone's helping you up. They're holding a shit pot in one hand, <laughs> and they're of helping they you are. up with their other hand. Well, <laughs> it's not I a murder them? hobo game if they're not no. crap in the streets, right? <laughs> no, we can't beg them to help us to catch the thief. You can certainly do that on your next turn. I'm trying to keep it moving along. Bran, you are climbing up. Uh, if you take the dash action, you will be up on top of the roofs. Um, and if you give me, I'm assuming, your turn here. So if I'm saying something wrong, Oop. let me know. That is right. Basically, I am heading in the direction that the thief's going, but I'm trying to make it a straight line okay. instead of winding through all the uh, alleyways. Okay. Make a perception check. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ooh, nice. You do see the thief uh, and the directions where they're heading to, heading to a large, older building there. You see Daphne. She is indeed going to catch up. If she runs fast enough, she will eventually uh, uh, catch the thief in action. But you Daphne. are... Daphne, gosh. Uh, she always leaves her whole thing. It's Cleo. Cleo, 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 Cleo. I was gonna say. Excuse me, it says Cleo right now. It does it say Cleo. Didn't when I saw you earlier today, and you know I'm looking at your character sheet too. I could have just looked over and been like, "Oh, Cleo, Cleo, yeah, okay." Uh, and we are back up to the thief. All right. Ooh, actually, that is something. <laughs> okay. Thief continues running right on past the repository. And continues unimpeded. Anja, you are running. You've made this turn. There are a bunch of potholes currently in front of you. If you are running to make a dash and continue on your way, you do have to make an athletics check. Or acrobat athletics and acrobatics. Doesn't really matter. I mean, they're both very they're both one uh, distance. I figured. Oh, fuck. Well, that was awful. That's only an eight. Oh, I'm sorry. That's only a seven. You are running, and Riley, you see the graceful movements as she puts her foot right into this puddle. <laughs> it's all right. And falls I ignore it. Face oh. forward. <laughs> I've stepped in a zl. Everyone kind of running into puddles before. You don't fall from a puddle. It probably was the thing. It's more of a pothole. It's a pothole. <laughs> There's like a tentacle reaching out of the tunnel. You know, <laughs> the worst, a possibility. Actually. You know, I was gonna say we did see that friggin' tentacle thing come on, take the. <laughs> exactly, that's what cat? I'm referring. To. Oh God, guys! What? You're the new Stop cat. giving him ideas. Don't Anja, give would you please him. roll a d100? <laughs> no. Every That's puddle you fall into has a chance to be dragged to the tentacle. deep. <laughs> Ryan is extremely pleased with himself for this. I rolled, <laughs> I rolled the opposite of Cleo. I rolled a one hundred. A one hundred? <laughs> yeah. I roll. If I had a dice cam, I'm not taking my camera oh, off the thing. No. If I had a dice cam, I, yeah, I'm gonna. Kyle, die. what is it? What is it? What is it? Third session. Do, do I, I see? Your uh, leg is gone. <laughs> Into the what puddle. You, wait, what did you say? Uh, Your leg Grant? is now gone. Oh, that'd be two characters that that happened to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two campaigns let's in a, a row. Let's have another character lose a leg. It'll be the right one this time, though. Don't worry about it for right now, Anja. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Riley, you are running along. You turn. You see the... All the uh -oh. way down... Oh no! Oh no! We're losing them. What happened after that? What happened? You cut out the entire time you were talking. <laughs> Your internet you see, sucks, Anja... Kyle. Oh no! 
Am I still here? Yes, yeah, you're you still are. there. You're good now. You're still here. I'm just okay. saying your internet sucks. Yes, it does. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to do something about that. <laughs> All right. I'll keep that one between me and the FBI. You turn, you see Anja <laughs> place her foot gracefully into a pothole. Oh. And she sinks all the way down to her upper thigh. <gasps> what would you like to do? Uh, I mean, well, she'll be, she'll be now I know that out. these puddles are deeper than I sh- should expect. Um, but with Anja down, that means it's up to me to catch this thief. Um, so I will. H- how far away is this thief? Do I have eyes on the thief? The thief is currently 150 away. 150. Oh, he's keeping uh, pace, isn't he? Well, he gets to move at the very top of the round. Yeah, but if he's So you moving... went from 150 to eventually you guys are going to catch so up. So can I wow. actually move Trip just baby. 30, my movement, uh-huh. and then t- use my Eldritch Blast <laughs> as an action <laughs> at a range of 120? Hoping you would say that. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, cool. That's what I do. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that was not good. 11 to hit. Unfortunately, that misses. The kid taking a look the kid? back, sees it, <laughs> arching forward, and turns to the side. So wait, do I do I see that it's a child? No, you don't. No, no, okay. that, that's just his outlaw been... name. The kid. Yeah, the kid. <laughs> Okay, Billy okay, the okay. Kid. Don't worry, it's fine. He's actually Boom. like 60. <laughs> All right. Well, that, All right. that's my turn, I guess. Cleo, a shit-covered hand, pulls you up onto your oh, feet. Oh, Are you all right God. there, Lassie? I mean, I was doing better <laughs> before his whole night started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just wipe it on her dress. <laughs> um, wait, do I see anyone else? My party ship members? Mm, roll a perception. Am I just like all alone? Do, 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 do. 20 not natural. 20 not natural. You saw Bran climbing up onto the roof of the houses, so you know he's somewhere ahead of you. You sliding down probably slowed you down a little bit. Mm. Lady in front of you picks you up, helps you out, and you notice that while emptying out her chamber pot, she has her uh, Paul pony tied up outside of her door. Are you all right, Thierry? Do you need any help? Am I able to borrow your horse to catch a thief in the name of the good citizens of this town? I don't know. That doesn't seem right. But if you're in a hurry, I suppose. It's like, that's a yes. You could take that as a yes. All right. Do I roll (laughs) handling? Or can I just ride? You can jump on the horse, and with the help of the lady, because you rolled a natural 20 and a natural 4 on your D100, spanks the pony's butt, and it starts charging down right away. And if the guard gave you good news and the pony is fast enough, you will probably catch up fairly quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm not broken hands. (laughs) Bran, what are you up to? Uh, I am continuing along the rooftops as nimbly as I can to try to make a beeline to the thief. All right. Do me a favor. Roll a d6 for me. Four. Four. I rolled a one. You are running... You manage to find the houses that aren't covered completely in moss, and you are able to skip over those that have their uh, roofs caved in. And you are able to catch up. You are making a beeline, so you are getting closer to the kids. 
than the unfortunate happenstance of the two who are in an alleyway full of potholes right now. But we'll get onto that later. The kid continues to run. All right. And continues making his way down. He's 200 feet from you guys. Anja, please mm. make a either athletics or acrobatics roll. And Riley, do the same as oh my, out of fire my dice three out. different potholes in the area, arms start coming out, tentacle arms. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, we had to make that. I guess I should just use the one on here because my dice are fucking terrible. That's only a nine. Because uh, I rolled a three. Uh, Riley. Yeah, I, I got an 11. You got an 11. Make that. Now you roll well. We friggin' oh, shit. I need a dice jail. Anja, something has your leg currently. God damn it. And you are going to take four piercing damage as you feel something bite down onto your foot. Oh, God. Riley, your 11 beat my 7, so you uh, are able to avoid the tentacles at this point in time. Anja! Anja, Anja. what would you like to do? Options? Let's let's see. What kind of... I can try to hit it, I assume. Uh, can I try to break free and get out? That would probably be the best bet, I imagine. Yeah, with the way I'm rolling right now? What do I need to roll to break free and get out? You can roll in athletics or acrobatics. Come on. Uh, nope. That's a... I'm gonna die in the third fucking episode. That's a not one. I give up. <laughs> fucking dice. Time to you trade. ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's an out one. What else could possibly... I'm not and saying now anything. she's gone in the puddle. <laughs> I sink. You don't <laughs> sink, unfortunately. But the other tentacles are headed your direction. Oh, but that'll be fine. Uh, Riley, yeah, it's uh, all fine. It's all things fine. have gotten a lot, a lot <laughs> worse than what they were. Shit. Um. Yeah, I'm not into that tentacle shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue running after this thief. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be a hentai. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's turning into one real quick. Just a little bit. How far away is this thief? Hope we all dress appropriately for this. Make an athletics or acrobatics to make it past the potholes and the tentacles. You want Chloe, to you actually are dressed appropriately, I think, for that uh, type of setting. Eight. You know what <laughs> happened to uh, Anja when she rolled that eight earlier? <laughs> I'm trapped now. No! Your foot goes into a pothole. But I'm farther down the alley, though, right? You do manage to get a little bit farther down. <coughs> Roll a d6 for me, and let's just see if you're out of the reach of the tentacle monster. Why are these roads so shitty? Four. <laughs> oh my god. You are out of the reach of the tentacle monsters. Uh, Cleo, you are riding your horse down the street. At this point, I will take an animal handling check. Okay. Do you like my ponies, by the way? We got ponies. I'm imagining I'm riding a pony like this. My little pony! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't look as pretty as that. It <laughs> looks more like a crazy-eyed pony with, like, <laughs> gnarled <laughs> teeth and, like, horrible oh, no, mange and like, fleas all over it. I don't recall actually telling you guys about these ponies, but okay. That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, you're actually close. Oh, I just figured it was kind of just really a basic looking horse that exists. Has anything around here been basic or good looking? <laughs> Probably hey, you not. know what? To each their own on what we consider good looking. And then 17 for animal handling. Okay. You good. ride that pony and you are <laughs> yeah. maybe yeah, about 30 feet from this old rickety building that uh, Riley would know as the repository, since you guys haven't been there. No, there's not really a sign hanging out. You don't see the thief yet, but you are actually the closest by far at this point. Uh, and Bran, 
You so first, at, go ahead. First thing I'd like to check is, uh, did I hear Anja or Riley like scream out or anything? I definitely would have called. I definitely would have uh, reacted when I got bit. So I did pain. even none thing. Yeah. Doesn't quite look like that. <sighs> I will beeline to the <coughs> to the scream of pain <laughs> what the hell is and doing? go find out what's going on. That's the horse. That's the pony. No, it I don't think so. Thirty feet of movement, and you can see Anja's in trouble with her legs sticking deep into a pothole and two other tentacles rising out from several other potholes. They're about six feet in length. So All right. They could potentially keep the oh. distance, but they are kind of close knit to each other. I will literally. And that's just thirty. All right, you, you're cutting out a little bit, but uh, I will literally jump down right next to Anja, and if possible, I will try to pull her out. If that's for next round, then that's for next round. We'll give her advantage for next round. Okay. Okay. Uh, with that, we have the thief running along. Okay. The, the kid makes another turn into a blind corner. You lose sight of him. Riley, Anja, Bran, you're busy, and Anja, you are as well. Cleo, you haven't seen him <laughs> for a little bit, uh, but you are in the lead. If you continue to ride the pony, give me another animal handling check. Thank you. Eleven? Yeah. God. That's good enough for the horse to keep oh. at this point. Thank God for somebody's getting some decent dice rolls. Turn oh, in the me. corner. You pass by the retository. There <laughs> is a man rolling a cabbage cart there early in the morning for some odd reason. And the horse. <laughs> My cabbages! <laughs> he screams as the pony jumps over the tiny cabbage yes. cart. It's a really crappy town. The cabbage cart is actually pretty small. I don't know what he was worried about, but you managed to jump it over with the pony. The really uh, sad part is you do that in a quest in WoW. Really? <laughs> no. Yes. You're riding a horse and you jump over a cabbage cart. That, that sounds absolutely worth it to me. All right. At that point, Thank Riley, you, you are the next closest uh, you fell into a pothole. I imagine you pick yourself up. Yeah. You Cleo ahead of you on top of a, a shaggy, gnarly looking pony. And what would you like to do? My little pony. Um, apocalypse ponies. Yeah, I'm going to continue <laughs> running, I guess. I'm going to follow Cleo. All right. <laughs> uh, Anja, go ahead and give that roll with advantage to escape. All right. Are you like fucking... Oh, well, at least I rolled a seven this time, uh, which is a grand total of... You said acrobatics, right? Is or possible? athletics, your choice. Acrobatics is one higher, so 13. 13. All right. You managed to <laughs> slip through out of the grass with brands <laughs> up. Pulls you up on oh. your feet. <clears throat> Uh, and with that, Bran and Anja, if you'd like to run out of the potholes, uh, I will take yes. one last athletics or acrobatics check from you both. <laughs> Don't roll an eight. <laughs> Good freaking God. Was... No, I did roll like rolling. Ah, fucking hell. I rolled a nine. I rolled a six because I rolled a one. <laughs> I changed dice too, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus freaking this is what I get for helping people. Yep. This is what you get for helping people. <laughs> Our dice are collectively this is cursed Cthulhu, tonight. So this is about right. <laughs> Go ahead. Roll one more time for oh. me, Gran. Did I uh, make okay. it? out to grab you. Anja, you managed to make your way out of the tent. Really? That's right, Anja. Before Anja. you fall Anja. on the ground. Uh, 19 again. 19. Okay. I, I feel like the DM is being... <laughs> Mercy being as uh, pitying me here. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, God. because I want to kill Bran. That's the whole reason <laughs> I knew he would run to help you. <laughs> uh, this well planned. Okay. Well planned. Well played, Sam. Well played. <laughs> uh, the tentacle reaching out to grab <laughs> at you uh, misses you. Um, and actually, though, the other two will swing at you because, Bran, you are didn't get very far, and you Ooh. went into the middle of it. That is a natural 20 to hit what? you, and a 3. But that is minimum damage, and you only take 4 bludgeoning damage. 4 is enough. No good turn goes unpunished. That I didn't is... punish you. You're Our... diced it. Kid continues running. Ooh, okay. And uh, it, you're about to lose him here soon. Cleo, you are on top of a pony. You hopped over a cabbage patch. So far, no one has deemed it. Oh, I love the fact that my beard is sort of blending in to the the terrible things behind me. <laughs> the kid has disappeared, but if you turn and look around, even with your terrible, awful... Oh, actually, you have a wonderful uh, perception. You see your friends behind you looking ahead of you in some ways... Um, along with they're they're doing some crazy stuff back there. Who really cares? Apparently not me. Apparently, I don't know. That's up to you. Do you? Oh my you god, they got right it. Now? They'll, they'll figure themselves out. I'm pretty sure they've been in situations like this before. Okay. Uh, so you ride ahead. Give <clears> me <throat> a perception check for. Her. And this is where I roll back. Ten. Ten. Mediocre. You don't see anything as you ride out from between the buildings. You see the crash of the water ahead of you in between some two big buildings. Two roads. One will lead back to your ship eventually. One leads towards the temple. So I'm not even chasing this person anymore? You've lost sight of them. Mm. It. Are there people? There's just waves. You see towards the temple there are some dark shapes limping mm. along. Sounds not good. How far away is the rest of the party? It would take you about a horse and a half rides to get back to them. I don't know what that means. You turn around and head back that way, and you will be back to him by the end of your next round. All right. Sure. I guess I'm going back to them. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Riley, you were the next closest person. You literally saw which way the uh, uh, the kid went, and you see Cleo riding back towards you, getting ready to jump over a cabbage cart again. No. <laughs> So I see which way the thief goes? You did see which way they went. They went towards the temple. All right. I'll uh, wait here for Cleo to get back and for Bran and Anja to catch up so we can huddle up really quick and regroup. Okay. I'll and keep an eye out, Anja, though. Anja, you keep an eye out? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll another perception check. Perception. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not good. 12. 12? Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. All right. Floor, uh, the road ahead of you is slick with some moss and some rainwater or something like that. Luckily, you had stopped here. <laughs> Otherwise, you probably would have slipped and fell and broke your head open with your guys' roll tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anja, you've managed to gain some distance from the tentacles. You see Riley ahead of you, a decent distance away. Bran is an immediate short distance away from you. 
behind you, what would you like to do? Uh, I'll go to Riley. If he's, like, stopped and appears to be waiting for us, I mean, it makes sense. I, I don't see the guy, so... Hopefully one of them did. Yeah, I, I saw which way he went. Uh, he turned towards the temple. Uh, I figured we should all regroup because we weren't going to catch up to him the way we were going. So we might as well attack him at the temple all together and retrieve that cargo. Did he all head right. towards... Did you see where he went? Yeah, towards the temple. Oh, you did see? Okay. Have I gotten out of the tentacle mess uh, yet? Roll an athletics acrobatics check oh, to avoid the tentacles stuck? and the hops. Well, you remember, he rolled a nat one, and he's very yeah. lucky I rolled a nat one to grab him. I rolled a nat 24 25. You fly out of there, <laughs> spinning around the tentacles. The grace that Anja should have had going over these puddles. Yeah, no shit. There is at one point where you put your foot down inside of another pothole. But again, like you're some sort of monk, you take a step off of that water. It's, it's insane. <laughs> and you manage to catch up with the rest of them. And at that point, we will go ahead and call the chase ended. If as only I was level two and had tie points. Yeah. Right? If only I was level two and yeah. I just want to be level two. Come on, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you get a bag of rocks, you might be level two. Gosh. Got it. Bag of rocks. Okay. All right. All right. I guess we head up towards the temple. Uh, uh, before go that, there. though. Yeah. Heal. I'm actually going to take... Can you... Sucks. Since I'm almost down half my hit points. Uh, yes, I'm going to for... take an action to spend one of my healer's kit uses. This is the third one. Heal myself. I'm looking a little... I'm not yeah, looking I'm probably gonna have to. I'm probably going to have to do you two uh, one moment. Yeah, and you guys should be coming at this with all your resources. You've had the long <laughs> rest, even if it is late at night. Oh, okay. Well, I mean... I don't think I used anything. So no, you're anymore. telling us that we should just go back to the Dagona Inn, regroup, and then go in the morning? Is that what I just no, heard? that worked great for the author of The Shadow of Innsmouth. You All should. right. Uh, Andre, you get back nine points. Oh, wow. I needed four, but that's great. I my wish minimum I could. Is, my, I want my minimum the extra. is five on this. Yeah. My I minimum want, is five on this. I want the extra. I want temporary hit points. Oh. So. I will heal myself, so that's two uses. That's why I want to get to second level. I want more than 12 hit points. Now, the only problem is I won't be able to do that again until we finish a short or long rest. So not not for not on you or I. I could do it on Cleo and Riley there and anybody else. We do need to People get this cargo back before Obviously. we're on the ship. And we were supposed to leave tomorrow. We're probably not going to leave without the cargo, but no. they're probably going to be impatient if it gets delayed beyond tomorrow morning when we return this. We need a rest, though. So I think we really just have one shot where right now we need to probably rest a little bit, then go in the morning to get this stuff and then go right to the ship. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should go now. I think they're going to dick if they have no, something. They know with that it. they are on a island. If they're planning on leaving or doing something with it, we may not be able to find it in the morning. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I I'm, I have all my spell points and I everything, so I'm yeah, cool with going say, right we now. Haven't, we haven't really run into too much where we should be that tired, so I think we can do this. All right. If you say so. Kyle's smiling. <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. All right. We're doing all this. We're right. going to the temple. We're doing yeah. this right now. Uh, you guys walk out to the main street. You take the left towards the temple. The limping figures. Are you still riding that horse? <laughs> yeah, Cleo stole that horse. Cleo's never I mean, returning this horse. I haven't gone back. Are we going back to our house? No, we're going to keep going. Well, you can take the horse or just let it go. Yeah, no, but no, you no. can't 
this horse. We're leaving in the morning. No, so it doesn't matter what happens to this pony. Yeah, we're getting on a boat. I mean, yeah. you're not going to bring the horse. You're with never you. going to see that woman again. It doesn't matter what happens to this pony. <laughs> you can. <laughs> it's. It can. We'll get a pony on the island. I'm sure this pony's where we're going to go. We can take a pony on the boat. Yeah, put the pony on the boat. Yeah, I'm sure Massetti or whatever his name is can just pick up the pony. <laughs> just Massetti. So we were walking while this is getting discussed. Sure. Cleo, why don't you roll that animal handling check? It seems to like her. Baby pony. Eleven. <laughs> it does not like being uh, or heading towards the direction uh. of the temple. It seems to have caught some scent <laughs> that has uh, filled it full of dread. Oh. It failed a will save or wisdom save. A little on the nose, oh, yeah. A little on the nose. A little, a little on the nose. <laughs> uh, but uh, you can attempt to control the pony, and it'll take you a little bit longer to get the pony to go where you want, or you could let it go, and it'll probably make Is, a Is uh, the pony making a lot of noise right now? Um... You know how children can get really angry, but instead of screaming, they just sit there and go, got it. <laughs> so huffing and puffing. Hey, I like it. Don't oh, worry. All right. Also, Bonus how points. loud are its footballs? On cobblestone, really loud. Yes. Yeah, one big, yes. like that clock. Question. Yeah, just like Monty Python. Yeah, the coconuts. We have a set of coconuts somewhere around here. Uh, you would. So, um... I could just grab a horse. Quite, all right, so do we want to be... You may have to lose the horse. Because nah. you may want to approach this quieter. Horse can be a horse distraction. Send, no, yeah, I was going to say, just send the horse out. If the, the you realize if the horse is a distra distraction, you're going to be on it. I would yeah. like to... Uh... As, I'm assuming there. we're moving as this is being discussed. You are moving, yes. Yeah. The, I say, it, yes, it, we we're, we're passing those wealthier houses again. Mm -hmm. Are any of the, uh, do we see any lights, like firelight or anything on in there? More so than we did earlier? Uh, give me perception checks. Anyone who's looking at that kind of direction. Anja, give me a survival sure. check. Uh, that's an eight total. So I'm rolling badly. My perception I rolled a nat 20. Holy crap. Maybe this is a turning point. So that's a 24 in survival. Okay. Cleo, Bran, you see curtains drifting back into place in a couple of houses. Riley, Everything looks fairly uh, empty here, although you do see uh, the gate of Fen Manor swinging open. And Anja, as you help Cleo out with this horse, because it is being stubborn at this point, you try and pull, and it yanks the reins out of your hand, oh. and you fall down to the ground. And as you go to pick yourself up, that stupid pony, you see small footprints leading towards the gate of Fen Manor. I think are like the thief. Potentially. Potentially. These are the freshest tracks heading this direction. I think he went to Fen Manor. I don't think he went that way instead of up. But although, can they go through Fen Manor to get to the temple or no? It's a straight Temple truck. would be straight ahead of you. Fen Manor veers completely off to the side. The thief is I see the I see tracks and they're very recent. Uh looks like he went to Fen Manor that way and not up to the temple. Anja, do you see any tracks leaving this place? Do I see any that tracks are also leaving recent? this place? Do you want to make another check, or was that 20, not 20? Could that cover Thanks that? the tracks. They'll give you all the information you need. You, I'm going to let your nat 20 roll over. 
you do see uh, a, a very lop-sided walking step of bare oh. feet. Uh, this is why I'll sit. Interesting. You mean like an uneven gait? Yeah. Uneven so gait, I'll yes, point him out. And I'm walk. like, what? Coming out. There's a somebody with a very uneven gait. Do I? I don't suppose I see like something with a cane or something. Two hours ago. No cane or no anything cane. to help them balance. Um, nope. Somebody, I guess, has a limp or something. It looks like they may be about two hours old. Wow, that seems oddly specific. In which direction were they going? I, I did. I mean, yeah, that's give true. It. Yeah. In which, which direction were they going? Which direction? Towards the temple or towards town? Towards the towards town. town. Um, yeah, towards the town, they would walk by the cauldron back where you guys were uh, when you originally turned on this road. This is the main road of the town that kind of circles the harbor itself. You guys, if you were to go to the Dagon at Inn, you kind of take a perpendicular road straight up and away from the coast. And so this appears to be following the main road, whether it turns or not. Hey, do we know. see the light that's coming from the harbor? Just out of curiosity. No, the town, the townhouse, the manor houses, uh, as well as the cliff blocking are the kind way. of blocking where you think it right. would be, yes. I will enter in through the gate. Now, I'm assuming there's like a bit of a walkway to the main house or something. There is. And whether you can see that well or no, gosh, you can't wait. Maybe if I keep moving it, it'll look as haunted as creepy. Especially as since it it's it's like becoming uh, see-through. Uh, yeah, exactly. Woo! It's, the, it's the late, it, it's like the 50s lighting effects. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You open up the gate, it makes the squealing sound, Ooh. the steps in front of you, and Anja with, I assume she's going to walk up there with yeah. you, or at least continue following these footprints. Yep. You see they do lead up to the house around the large porch that's in the front, over to the side of the house, there is a walkway leading up to the front door. A lot of the windows are boarded up. Is there any? Very loosely, very haphazardly. There's no boards in front of the front door, though. Any other entrances oh. that we can see? From the direction you're walking in, no. Okay. But you would imagine there probably is some way in. In the back. Or the back, yeah. I will actually follow the footprints. And uh, do we see any light peeking through the boards? Not a bit. I will turn on my hooded lantern then. Okay. Well, actually, no, that would have been on already because we were still out at night. Yeah. Yeah. There's no <laughs> light on at the Frankenstein place tonight, apparently. Except mine. <laughs> Thank you to whoever pointed out the Rocky Horror effort reference on chat. Damn it, Janet. Was that you? <laughs> Wait, was that you, Cleo? No, that's Rob. Damn it, Cleo. Good job, Rob. Good job, Rob. <laughs> Why am I getting blamed all the time? Uh, I don't really enjoy it. I'm I making can't a make fun of Carol in her face. So. Uh, Cleo, go ahead and roll that animal handling check one more time for me. I am still on the pony. You dun, might be. Dun, dun. And I'm oh. You are not on that pony anymore. No, oh, no. But I gracefully fall off. <laughs> Just like Do I gracefully you? Give me an acrobatics. <laughs> Why wouldn't I gracefully fall hey, off? Hey, if you could have walked on 13. Water, you... Lucky number. You do. Gracefully. It's not a graceful landing. It's a superhero landing, you know. Three so... point landing. Definitely hurts your knees a little bit, you know. <laughs> If you ever get arthritis, it's going to be bad. <laughs> but get up coolly, calmly, collectly. If anyone was watching that, they're like, damn, I'm glad she's with us. <laughs> badass. That was badass. <laughs> I just flipped my hair. <laughs> you know, if you fell from heaven, that's how you'd want to land. 
I did Always. fall from heaven. <laughs> but the horse is gone. Yeah, no. Shoot. We wouldn't move that fast. I feel like it'd be like. Oh, no. And you circle the horse around the right. house. A the dog horse. comes eat there. <laughs> and you see a small crack in an open window that has been boarded up and the muddy scrapings of shoes. And it looks like the footprints lead through this boarded up window, and it is small. Is there any other entrances around here? There is a side entrance. Uh, there's an outcropping of house, a door in between there, and there may still be a door on the back side of the house that you have yet to see. So I will go to the closest entrance then. Okay. This will be the side entrance. And if you try the door... Yeah, sure. I will try. I... Make yes, I will try without knocking. Um, really? You want no, to? No, 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 no. You want to? Uh, the door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. Have I right. had a turn lately? You have not had a turn lately. You observe the same thing. There let, are. Let's Go ahead. Assume I was walking up with Bran then. Mm hmm. I think we're, um, we're all together, right? Yeah, let's, let's go with that. I mean, sure. that would be what would make sense here. Yeah, um, I see the window mm -hmm. as well, right? You would, yeah. Okay, um, so I infer that's the entrance, and the opening is obviously too small for a lot of people, mm -hmm. though me being a scrawny 110-pound book nerd, uh, would I fit? If you leave your books outside, that's a no go. I'm gonna use an Eldridge blast to like <laughs> blow this window open, um, so everyone can hear us coming. <laughs> Damn it! It was almost an 18, but no, it was a two plus seven, so nine to hit, uh, hit a stationary board. window. Yeah. Yes. All right. So Eldridge blast uh, is gonna do five damage. You put some cracks in the board. Really? Yeah. Do you want to just keep going until you break through it, or do you you want to ask if there's any other entrances towards the house? No, no. I assume Brand's looking for other entrances. He's a smart okay, guy. At this point, I'm now staring I'm, at Riley. I'm, like, what are you doing? I'm the distraction. Go around back. <laughs> and yes, okay, I am going okay. to Eldridge Blast again. All right, let's go. I'll, I'll go with Brand if he wants to go around back. Oh, that was six damage that time on that window. Six damage. Okay. You break the board. Now or do we <laughs> <Okay. laughs> No, no, no. I, I'm going to wait. I'm going to let them do their turn first okay. and find okay. another entrance. And then then I'll go through this window. All right. Uh, I have a question, actually, quickly. Sure. Uh, the boarded windows. Is, it's only a, is, is every window boarded or are, is the second story windows not boarded? Second window stories are not boarded. All right, then. I am... Going to go upstairs the hard way. Make an athletics check. I'm a climb is always an athletics check, by the way. If oh, you that's a nat down, 20. That's a nat 20, so 21. Oh, nice. Again, crouching tiger, leaping dragon. Yeah, we'll go with it. Crouching medicine, up, up, up. leaping serum. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we'll have to come up with a few of those. Up. Onto the roof, there's a rail deck, and up onto there, there's actually a doorway to your left and two large windows in front of you. I will try the doorway. Roll a d6 for me. Is the doorway like a glass doorway or six? Uh, or is it a door door, like a solid door? Uh, there's some glass to see through and you go to try and open the door and it opens easily for you. About the same time that you hear this <laughs> of splintering wood. <laughs> so I mind you, it literally took you a second to hop up here and open the door. <laughs> Riley just broke it down. Oh, uh, actually. <laughs> By the uh... way, how far away are we from Riley now? Are we like right together? Are we close? I would imagine you're close, yes. Otherwise, I, I mean, I poke around my head and go, Riley, come on, we get wait, the door wait, open. I, 
I just actually just tie off the rope to the rail and drop it down that I have. Okay. And then I kind of go up here, guys. All right. Uh, I'll go up to it and try. Let to... Chloe go last, so no one looks up her skirt. Can you beat a DC five? Uh, I cannot roll lower than a DC five on. Uh, it would be athletics for this. So my deep, I ro- my minimum is a six. You make it up the rope. Good. Hey, I don't have to roll. That's a good thing. Cleo <laughs> and Riley, can you make a DC five athletics trick? What to climb through this window? To climb up the rope. Nah, Unless you intentionally that. want to go through the window you broke open. Well, Splitting the party and going into this unknown dark house where monsters abound all by yourself. Yeah, through my <laughs> studies, I realized splitting the party is a bad idea. Bad idea. <laughs> um, all right, I'll climb this rope. So let's see. Acrobatics, 15. Athletics. Oh, athletics. athletics. Yeah, because it's climbing. I got athletics, 15. Okay, 20. you're good. You're good. Both of you all make it up. You are on top of the deck. Um, like I said, two windows. Chimney with crackly molding bricks where it's falling out here and there in places. Beautiful glass door where Brian is currently motioning you to enter. I will actually indicate without saying for Anja to take point since she has better eyes than I do in the dark. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. I'll go. go with, I will step into the house. And to be honest, I think it's best if I take <coughs> the rear and I cover us. And I will definitely take out my weapons. Okay. I think you're like the only one that takes out a weapon in this party. Oh, I have a dagger. Do you take it out? Do you use it? <laughs> <laughs> it it's more of a... Oh, gosh, Riley, cover that up. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a letter opener, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh. that's more like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mostly wow. just use it if I uh, forget about my warlock powers. <laughs> okay. So you enter in through this door. It leads down this long hallway. The carpets are moldy and moth-eaten. Dust hangs heavily in areas along these photographs of ocean scenes and a lot of pictures of some interesting looking people. They've got the large watery eyes that seem to stare deep into your soul, balding in some pictures, their scaly skin but more or less, they look human. Honestly, they might look a little bit like Riley does at this the moment. Ins- Although you have green scaly skin, theirs is a pale scaly uh, skin. The Innsmouth look, right? The Innsmouth look. They, they have a touch so of the brine. Is as this were. similar to the froggy looking man that greeted us when we first landed at Rosante hmm. that looked kind of like. He was mixed with a little deep one. (laughs) They have the beginnings look of that, but not quite as bad as he looks. That was Mundo, Mundo. by the way. Mundo Mundo Finn. 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 Mm -hmm. Finn or Finn? Finn. Oh, like the name of the manor that we're in. Finn Manor. Like the name Ah, of the manor that you're in. Gosh, I want to sing a Mungo. This is why I take notes. (laughs) <laughs> Mongo only pawn and gave up life. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love blazing saddles. <laughs> the strangest thing, though, is when you walk into this building, the floors are more creaking, the carpets are moldy, a little bit eaten, the picture frames dusty with these large eyes that never seem to stare at you, and the house smells like lilacs. That house smells like lilacs. Fresh lilacs. Mm-hmm. Although, if you look around, there's no flowers and any vases. Now, does it sound? Does it smell like really overpowering lilacs? Like the concept of covering up another smell, or just a faint scent? 
That is a good question. With your 16 passive perception, there is a hint of something underneath the lilacs. But the lilac, you can't identify it. Yeah. To your right, I mean, you're right now you're staring at a wall five feet in front of you with the picture frames. To your right is a hallway that leads to uh, a larger space. And Andre, your you point, you decide. Way. I'm writing it out. Hang on. I'm writing, I'm taking notes. I'm actually being a good to be and taking notes. So I got. I, I want to get the I flower, can't. but the flower is not with this mask. Found. My note is the recording later on. Uh, you can also uh, talk to me too. That's um, why I don't listen to the recording, though. I don't, <laughs> don't want to hear myself anymore. I, we will, I, we will I start a game that. of you uh, saying um, by the way. Damn it. You did fine. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, so there is a long hallway on out of here, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, and there's nothing else other than the pictures in the walls. No, that's all right. I'm trying to find the thief. So I'm going to go down that hallway quietly. If you want me to make a. Yeah, make a self roll for me. Let's see. Why do I? Oh, that's right. I'm not that kind of friggin'. I don't have stealth. I have disadvantage on stealth. <laughs> She's that's, wearing the she's wearing the oh, heavier you armor. Shit me. I rolled nat twenty and a four, so that's an eight. I'm you wearing find yeah, the armor. every creaky board in the place. Actually, it's the uh, it's the armor. Her armor creaks. Oh, it's, and that's board. why it's it's the armor that causes disadvantage. And every board. <laughs> and every, every board, board sure. and every chink in your armor. I know what you're gonna say, Frank. Shut it. Uh, <laughs> You head down the hallway. <laughs> Clever. And at this, we're just heading towards very small spaces. You end up walking into a hallway that um, quite large. There are a stairwell directly to your left. If you were to turn, you could immediately go downstairs. Past the stairwell is a door <laughs> uh, on the opposite wall, an opposite corner, or not the opposite corner, <laughs> on the opposite Sorry. wall. You see another door in the middle there, another door, another door, another door. This is too many doors, man. Five doors in total. Okay. But do they really open? We do they really out. open is the question. So, hold on. Four doors on that wall and then one door next to the stairwell? Or is it five doors on that wall and then one door <laughs> next to the stairwell? Three doors on the far wall. Three and two. Two on your side, there's a door open at the end of the hallway, which it's... Anjo, with your eyesight, you can see the clawed foot. What? Of a bathtub. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Ah. Ah, so there's a bathroom in front. I don't. I think we're okay with that. I don't I even will, want to uh, find out what's in the bathroom. Kind of whisper up, Anjo. Do you see any prints around here? See if the uh, whoever can... it was came up here. I can look. I can see if there's any like divots. I'll make survival, I guess. Unless the survival. thief wiped his feet after he got in. Or investigation. Oh, Jesus Christ, my fucking dice. Uh, in which way? If it's, uh, the, well, that would be. Uh, nope, survival is actually better. That's only a seven, though. I don't see <sighs> shit. Sorry, my dice have decided to just shit on me tonight. Fortunately, you don't see anything. <clears throat> Nope. There's not really any dust on the floor, which is an odd thing considering the dust on the picture frames on the uh, bureau in front of you that's holding a few items here. Uh, dead flowers, by the way. In case you were wondering, uh, you see more pictures. Um, Are the dead flowers lilacs? They're lilies, actually. They kind of smell alike. This and more is... pictures of more people, although as you get further in, and if you take a look at them, they tend to hold large eyes, but tend to be normal other than that. You might call a few of them doe-eyed. Do the pictures look older as they look more normal? 
yes. You have five doors, a stairwell, and a bathroom. Andre, where do you decide? Uh, let's start with the first door we come to, left to right, because obviously one side has three. So is it the right side that has three, and the left side that has two? For me, and then there's one at the end that's the bathroom. Near us is the two doors. To the left of us is the stairwell and the bathroom, and then across from that is three doors. Uh, I'll just pick the first door that I get to. Just to first make door it to your right. Yep, and I be the windows. You kind of, if you'd look earlier through the windows in there, you would know that it's a bedroom on that side. I just peek. Um, in fact, this is the one that has the deck in front of it. All right, I will let them know. Do we want to go and investigate the? We're actually looking for the thief, so I think I want to, you know, if I don't see him in there, close the door, go to the next one, open it. Actually, did it look like that room had two doors to it? Like it's a big room to try to maybe cut out some of the doors. <laughs> if you open it and take a look into the room, there are two closets in there. And mind you, this is a thief. I don't think they lay down on the bed right. and just wait for somebody no, to come. No, I don't think. I think he's downstairs, but that's. But who knows? All right. Well, if no one else is going to go in, I'll go in and take a quick peek around. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Roll investigation. Where are you looking at in general? And I mean, just imagine a... Un under the uh, bed, in the a closet. Tiny bed. You know, anything that's small enough to hide a child is size. Investigation okay. more. Go ahead and roll investigation. I'll give you perception on okay. whatever you just told Perception? Me. Okay. Investigation will catch everything All right, Well, else. investigation was a four, so that sucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Perception is a 16. 16, okay. Nothing in the old rooms. There are, in the closets themselves, you see white, simple gowns. The identical gowns with a huge uh, cut for the leg. Um... As you look under the bed, you see the frayed remains of ropes around the legs of the bed, as well as a lot of wearing on the wood from where it had been tied. Do I see any but on the front end? Nothing seems like it's... Do I see any frayed ropes on the front end? On each of the okay. four posts, yep, along the floor okay. there, you do. Um, shit. <laughs> but the room itself doesn't look like it's been used in quite a while or has seen anyone in quite a while. Step out. I don't know if anybody else wants to go check out the room or go into another room. I'm going to, I, I keep, I keep going up to another room. And you head towards the next yeah. room, open up yeah. the door. I'll Where follow on, the thief is not sitting there on top of the Darn bed. It. Posing. <laughs> Open up. There's a fireplace in this room. There's a door that we'll say you got a decent wisdom and a decent intelligence. Probably leads to the door or to the room next to the door here. If you decide not to go into the room, it would be the next door across. You would assume that's where this door leads to. There's another closet in here, another yeah. large bed. If Bran informs you of any of the weird stuff he saw, you might notice some of the same things. So I if I actually... go in, yeah, if I go in, I see the ropes on the bed too. Well, you see frayed ropes around the legs of the four posts of the bed. These sheets are disheveled. If you open up the closet to check for a thief, you yep. instead find uh, 
uh, menswear, short menswear, actually. This no is so tops, creepy. Just kind of a, a skirt kilt like thing. Wait, there's only there's only kilts. Only kilts, not thick fabric either. It's easily torn. Hmm. And not necessarily from the fact that they've been eaten by moths. Hmm. Flimsy and moth eaten. This is great. And kilts. Short for like a child for like a child? Yep. Or like half length. Half length. No, I mean halfling. Oh, halfling? Halfling size? No. Okay, no. I mean, they could be full size, you know, down to their feet. But they're a little bit wide. Oh, that's fair. They'd have to, you know, hem it in quite a bit. All right. Uh, that's that room. Mm -hmm. All right, I exit. I assume the others are... If the other if Cleo and Riley wanted to... Yeah, Riley, let me know. Cleo. What would you two like to do? Um, what are you doing as they are finding these things? Well, this place looks <laughs> fucked up. Like, this is That's... where they force them to maybe breed with deep ones. I don't know. That's weird. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, <coughs> yeah, so two out of the five doors have been explored. Now, the... Doo -doo -doo. There's no dust on the floor, but there's dust everywhere else, so... Like someone cleans it or something, right? That's someone what I can uses infer. It, infer, yes. Okay, cool. Um, and that's everywhere. So among every door frame, like on the floor, it's cleaned in front of all five of the doors? Yes. Okay. Well, then I guess it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just have to search each room one by one. So I'll take mm -hmm. uh, the third room on this ball. You open it up. And assuming that Bran and Anja have told you the same thing. Sure. You would see the door that leads to the room that Anja just checked. There's another closet in here. Open it up. And this time it is outfit sized for halfling or children. One would hope halflings, but you're not sure. The frayed ropes. These bed sheets are also in disarray. And go ahead and give me a investigation check. Investigation. Ten. You do not find anything else. Cleo. So there's unopened doors still, right? There's a fourth door, a fifth door, and... and well, bathroom, sure. And, and a stairwell. <laughs> and a stairwell. You throw yourself off the stairwell with the frayed ropes around your neck. Screw this! <laughs> I, I choose how I'm going out. The non-bathroom unopened door. Okay. You open it up inside. Fireplace. A clean bed. <laughs> you open up to a fire. At the post. <laughs> You say more ropes, more ropes, more ropes, a closet. This time are those kilts for halflings or little boy children. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception or investigation check, Cleo. Okay. Perception. 14. 14. The fireplace has been used there's something shoved in there if you go and poke around in there it looks like one of these outfits has been tossed into the fireplace scorched a little bit huh. oh no <laughs> why are they eating them <laughs> Yeah, do a Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what are you what are you saying oh no about is they I just this seems like a horrible, horrible dungeon. 
and it is a horrible, horrible. Just a time. manner, guys. Come yeah, um, this is Cthulhu, man. Yeah, this is Cthulhu. This is actually dungeon. dungeon Light. Yeah, this is Dungeon Light, but it's just it's it's ah, uh, it's horrible. This is like <laughs> the keep weak one. Four children this is or halflings. Disturb- this is disturbing. And the clothes easily rip off, or I mean, the fabric tears easily. <laughs> Uh, I don't they got kinky want... stuff going Guys, on. I would like to say that this is for mature audiences it's only. only. <laughs> that would be I mean... good if we had any mature audiences. Oh, oh no! <laughs> if I had think any mature cast members. I mean? was gonna say I think the audience are the mature ones. The cast members are not. Uh, hey, uh, so none of this seems familiar, does it, or anything like that? Familiar or sorry. Kyle, I'd say Kyle knows what I'm referring. Does anything about this seems to You've click? been mostly inland. Hmm. Uh, but, but feel free to roll a yog sothery. What is that? Intelligence? Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Plus proficiency. So that's a plus four. Did you say sog rothery? Yog Sothery. Yog Sothery. Okay. Yog okay. Sothery. Yog Sothery. All right. So that would be an 18. Okay. You've read in some of the books and have heard some of the tales of these interactions between those on the mainland and those with in the sea. And mind you, Really ancient knowledge. Yes, there used to be stuff living in the sea that went to war with those on the land and it was beaten back and defeated utterly because they were evil and the forces of good were those on land uh, with the good gods and everything like that. And so the idea of something still living down there is just strange to begin with. But having done your knowledge... You know there have been people who, if they provide gifts and sacrifices, and not necessarily like blood sacrifice, well, blood in some cases, um, that they will bless immortality upon those who wish it. Wait, the what? Wait, the ones getting wait, the ones making the sacrifices can bless immortality on others? No. What you're saying? Or am I getting the ones the that are giving the sacrifice get blessed? They get blessed, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> they kind of figures visitor rain. They can. All right, go ahead. Allow their uh um uh, shit, that was three as in a row. Allow their predecessors to also receive this blessing of immortality and food and gifts of gold. I mean, small price to pay. I would like to go check out the bathroom with the tub. You do that. You go ahead. The tub is disgusting. That's why I didn't want to go it there. It's used fairly frequently, and there's still some sort of slime and ick. On now, the, of it. That's the smell impression. of lilac has it gotten stronger, weaker, or constant still? Constant. So it's not stronger in the bathroom or anything? It's not stronger in the bathroom. I will uh, poke around, see what is around here. The tub I said is filled with a viscous material. You see... Oh. Oh, give me an investigation check. 16. 16, that's good. You see claw marks. Three scratches on other side of a wash basin. There are minnows, actually, in the bathtub. And mind you, this is a viscous, so they're not really kind of doing that in there. Claw marks are on the wall or on the tub? On the side of a wash basin. Okay. One would wash their hands, you would assume. There is a mirror there. Not cracked, actually shining brilliantly. The silver and gold inlay of it. This is a gorgeous mirror. You can see almost past the lenses 
that uh, make up your mask, you can almost see your eyes. They are just, this is a clear mirror, very well taken care of. Mm -hmm. And unless you dip a hand into any of the material there, this is me asking a question before I continue on with my. I'm not going to dip my hand in there. Damn it. Uh, no. But. It smells like lilacs. I will take my dagger, mm -hmm. run it through mm -hmm. the viscous material, and take out one of my vials and basically scrape some of that into the vial and pour it. As you do that, you are close enough to it that that underlying smell of the lilacs, this fishy, odory, musky. that stench from um, if you had like a day long session sweat musky yeah there's a good earthy scent to that thing okay. I'll actually uh, go to the mirror mm -hmm. and see if it can be removed It is attached to the wall, a washboard, and if you took the time, you could pull the mirror. Okay, down. so it doesn't just come off or anything. It doesn't just pop off, no. Okay, just making sure it didn't like hide something behind it. Nope. All right, I will go out and inform the others that the tub is filthy with some substance. I knew it was gross in there. I'm a doctor. I'm used to that stuff. <laughs> what do you think the stuff is in the tub? I will have to take some time to analyze it better to come up with a true analysis. You have one door left to check. You have downstairs. What would you check, like the, check the last door. Okay. You open it up walk inside. This is the largest chamber of them all. This is a California king-sized bed. And, and instead of ropes being tied to the foot of the bedposts, they're tied to the top. Frayed and dangling down from the it's a sex swing, guys. Good <laughs> lord. Uh, <laughs> see the part? It's lying Leo. on the bed on its side. No. In Leo, case somebody wanted to mix their pasta with, you know, some, some kinky stuff. <laughs> Woo! Leo, we found your room. We did find your room now, haven't we? Jeez. We found your no, room. I'm actually pretty sure it's Riley's room. Yeah. <laughs> This room is not, there's not enough uh, silk in here to be my room. Actually, yeah. the bed sheets are silk. But is uh, it white silk? It is you know. not. Mm, it is a see? deep purple uh, on the ha, bed. That would work too. Itself. Dark blue is the blanket that covers it. The pillows themselves, a deep ocean green. This is. There's a closet as well. There's a fireplace as well. This fireplace looks rather fresh. And those who actually enter the room yep. will hear the crackling of a fire. Not not in this fireplace, but you're aware that there are chimneys that go up in each room stacked upon it. There's a fire going on in the room up above you. Above so how many floors is this place? Two is the main, but when you went outside and took a look around the side, you did notice that there could possibly be a third story above. This room 
Is this room like much cleaner than the other rooms? This is the cleanest room you've seen. Does the scent of lilacs change in here? Or is it a different scent at all? This one is the scent of lilies. Hmm. And if you look around, you see vases that are empty. This is so weird. Are there any pictures on the fireplace mantle? There is. I will go look at them. Under the nameplate, it says Mundo Fen. It's a large picture. And you see this handsome man, bald at the top, with friendly mutton chops that are absolutely great. He is the best looking man you've ever seen in your entire life. Well built, six foot tall. Uh, now, posing quite well and looking nothing like the Mundo Fen that you had met earlier when you had left the ship. Now, the final question for that one is... Uh... When would I gauge the age of this painting? Was this like, given given the time lapse that we saw in the hallway, was this would this look more recent or older? This is probably the most recent picture you've seen. Um, give me a history check. And anyone looking at this photo can also give me a history check if you want to kind of help him identify the age of this photo. 17. Um, you probably got it with that. Do I even have history? Not eh. one. Wow, that's the guy who would get it. That's only, uh, that's only, a, <laughs> that's only a nine. I thought my history was good, but I guess not. <laughs> I'm a researcher, by the way. I know. I was like, it sh shouldn't you actually have a really good... Yeah, I should, but I rolled a nat one. Can't help that. Your first level. <laughs> It'll get better. No, can't help nat ones. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Do you Skill have any check. background skills that are supposed to help you as far as uh, identifying things, history, and that sort of thing? Actually, you know what? That's totally... That, Cleo, thing. what did you roll? Or did you not roll? Two. Two. <laughs> yeah, gosh. Too good. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we're winning. <laughs> See, guys. <laughs> what is the point of D&D? &D? To win, right? No, it's just to live. Okay. Well, if it's um, golf, are you supposed to have a oh, my god. <laughs> Oh my god, the, the, the natives on the chat are getting restless. That We haven't burnt this, this place down yet. So. <laughs> Doesn't Bran, always happen, folks. Bran, you look at this painting and the lines are too clean to have been done Gosh. by mortal hand. And you would recognize uh. this as what is called a capture portrait or a capture scroll invented by a gnome uh, a tinker gnome of great eccentricity it is a blank piece of parchment with all the ink bound up into the rolls one could unroll it place their thumbs on either side of it and whatever the person who was looking at it it would capture the view so it's kind of like a kodak picture but magical. It, uh, it, this uh, is something... For like five minutes. <laughs> this one in particular would cost 3,000 gold because it has all the full color and everything like that. The cheap ones are just a couple hundred and they just do black and white. And Riley would also know um, once you kind of identify that as a capture portrait that they are something that's only been around for about 15 years or so. And that on the more expensive ones, they do have a date typically written in the bottom right corner on the back of the frame. 
Oh, I let Brand know as I ripped this thing off the wall. <laughs> I was going to be a bit more gentle, but I actually did want to look at the back anyways. <laughs> I'm surprised the researcher would be that rough with something. Oh, like I'm, I'll be I'll be gentle with it as I rip it off the wall. <laughs> Oops! An aggressive. That, that's true. I, I think I was just a little bit more um, excited. Yeah, he's like an anything. overexcited researcher. Yeah, I, like, I'm I'm left say, out, let outside of my library for the first time in my life. See, look, we are wrecking stuff, folks. See, he's ripping stuff off the walls. Yeah, if it was a book, there's I'd some be a violence bit more for you. Violence against photographs. Violence against photographs. <laughs> Give me uh, a dexterity check to just see how well you rip this thing off, because you might do some damage. I really hope not, but let's. Uh... <laughs> this is why choosing your words like yeah, is important. Yeah, one. Here comes the net one. Uh, I rolled a 19 plus three, yes. so 22. That's not a net one. Open off so cleanly, you don't tear anything. This is some inlay gold on the frame, by the way, which might be worth something. Maybe we're supposed to take. And you turn and flip it over, and this is only eight years old. Oh, the guy Um, we saw definitely looks way different. Cool. Yeah, a lot's happened in eight years, I guess. This is what happens when you stop going to the gym, people. Um. Cool. Yeah, I hand the picture to Bran and continue on. Is there anything behind I, the picture frame on the wall? Dust in the shape of a picture oh, frame. Okay. I don't care. I just want to look. But you did such a great job of lifting off the frame that I believe it is going to be Anja, Bran. What is your passive perception? Uh, shoot, my thing. Cleo and Riley. 16. Uh, passive perception is... is 14. 14. Hit fourth level. Yeah, 14. Yes, we know. You're going to be gross. All of you guys hear this. You hear a click coming from outside in the hall behind you. I Uh turn around and look outside in the hall. The carpet is overturned in the area where you had entered in from. Uh, Is the door closed? The door in the room? No. You have eyes to the hallway. That's probably why you heard it as well. And if you had made a damn racket, none of you would have heard anything. Uh, So the sound was of the carpet being overturned? It was a click. Like a door. Like Like a a, door. You see, from the way you had come in, I look down. There has been overturned. I'm going to look and see if there's like a trap door or something. You don't see a trap door. I'm going to look through the door that would be closest to that overturned carpet and open it up slowly. There is no door. The door would lead outside to the porch. But you see a section of wall just opposite of that door. The first door that you entered the actual building from. The wall is pulled open a little bit. Like it had been a secret door. I will gather everyone up and head to the secret door. Am I taking point again? Am I taking point again? Sure. Okay. So I'll go through the... I'll open the door see stairs leading up all right i'm gonna try har 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 to be quiet as i go maybe i should be point (laughs) my freaking noisy ass armor uh but that's pretty good i mean i rolled a 16 and 14 so 14 is the disadvantage and that is an 18 stealth check to go up the stairs you are quiet and you are able to lead the rest of your party quietly as well. Specifically, you point out, look at the person right behind you. Don't, don't step here. You step over the next creaky step and you make your way up silently. Up the stairs. And you find yourself 
in another hall again, although to the left of it, instead of a door that leads into another room, there is a bed, bedroom there. There's the fire crackling away, very small. And this is an actual, very worn in room. There is no dust because it is apparently seen frequent use. And I'm using your perceptions and your investigations passive in this role. There is a divot to where someone heavy sleeps, you would imagine. Yep. Rankled. There's a pile of clothes in a corner there. What type and of clothes? Men's clothes. Simple but fairly fashionable, well cut, made of a good, strong wool that would stay warm in wet weather. Tattered, well used, and sopping wet. Hmm. Is there another door in this room? There is at the end of the hallway. If you were to continue up the stairs and just go straight to the end, there is another door. I wonder if that person's taking a bath or something since they just came in. So I, know. I would look at I would like to look around for hidden areas. See if anybody's hiding in the shadows. Well, give me perception if that's what we're looking for specifically. Secret doors and anyone hiding 21. in shadows. You do not see anyone hiding in shadows. You do not see any secret doors. Seems that would be the only secret door you have found in this place, is the one leading up here. Any smell of lilacs or flower flowers up here? You still smell the lilacs, but at this point, that fishy odor, and it's identical to identical, identifiable, there we go, identifiable to everyone at this point. We can smell the fishy smell? You can smell the fishy smell. Yes, we can smell the fish sticks. Somebody cooked fish in the microwave. Oh, those are the worst people. It was salmon, (laughs) and I was hungry. I didn't know. To the door, Riley. Yeah, to the door. I go to the door. Yep. Sure. Open it up. He's opening doors. Holy crap. He's opening doors, right? This is a, this is a new character. Why this is it so is... surprising? This character does not know fire spells, and this character opens doors, <laughs> all right? <laughs> and shoots Eldritch Blast at kids still. Anyway, what? Thieves. <laughs> thieves. <laughs> thieves, right. Thieves. I misspoke. Thieves. You enter this room, and this is a study. There are some books on the shelves. There are candles laid out across strange and odd geography drawn and carved into the floor. Along one side of the wall, there are various creatures pinned like a butterfly. Only there's frogs, cats, Snakes. Um, this is actually quite interesting. I'm loving this. I'm sure you are. Anja, you walk in here and you are finding yeah. a familiarity that you have not felt in a couple of weeks. What's I'm afraid to ask. The cat? <laughs> Not necessarily the pinned animals, but the candles on the floor, the strange geography. There are odd gemstones and places here, or there. There are some books. There is, I guess I should tell you also, there is another door that is uh, uh, to the, you enter through the door, it would be to your left. The pinned things are to your right wall. The fish mm. odor is only getting stronger at this point. Uh, well, I want to look at the books. 
Well, yeah, that, I, that's where I'm, I'm not, going. I'm I will go stand by the door, the door lady, that other door, but I'm not going to go until I will give him some time with the books. Are there any entrances <laughs> to or from the study outside of the I one we're going through? Books. The only exit from the study is the door, like I said, that would be on your left, that would go towards the back of the house. I will do that. I will go there and check it out. And I will check out the, the door, door before I open it. Roll and investigate. Nice. Check. An 11. You open the door carefully, and just as you're about to pull it an inch open, you stop. And you open the door further, and someone has apparently tied a string real quick on the bottom of the door frame. I will take my knife that is clean of the goop and cut the rope and kind of like make sure the door is shielding me. Did we lose Kyle? Yeah, I think so. No! <laughs> oh my it. god. Oh Daniel. my gosh! <laughs> Alright, what space did you take? What space did you take? Everything up. Yep. It doesn't what matter. What space is he? I don't know. I'm waiting okay. to catch up. He's now Cleo. Cleo's He's now Cleo. me. I'm now Carol. <laughs> yeah. Riley's the GM. Oh, you have I'm to the run. GM now. Riley, what happened? <laughs> it's like, you know, when you get out of your car and you like run around, everyone changes their spot. Yeah, it's a Chinese fire drill. <laughs> I didn't know there was racist. Just to say totally, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I never really understood why it was called that. Yeah. We're terrible people. <laughs> I All right, Kyle. Not say it. Did you hear what I was doing? Uh, you were. Oh, did you not get that? Any of that? You nope. freaking popped. You disappeared. Yeah, you froze. You have to say it again. You rolled an eleven. You go yeah. to open the door, and before you open it too oh. far. Yeah, we heard that. Yeah, I there heard was a that. String. I, we cut yeah. the string. Oh. I took my That's... knife and I cut the and I cut the string using the door more as a shield, like you know, right <laughs> okay. around the corner. You open the door crack, you see the string, and you realize if you open up the door, someone just tied a string near the bottom that someone would trip over. And it does absolutely nothing. You cut it, and you find yourself in that circular uh, metal stairwell that you see in libraries sometimes. If you kind of picture what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah circle around and you are going to be like a, a two-story room this is a library with long heavy drapes covering the back wall with a arch there that opens into a pair of doors which leads to a balcony out the back and you see an extensive library oh, so a God. second one basically we're never leaving nope so Kyle, this is like a second library. I don't think we've the seen study one. you were in. Um, oh, that was, oh, that that's was a just laboratory. A study. Okay, yeah, Very yeah. So gosh. Riley's it, Riley's all interested in the minor stuff, while I found the good shit. Supposedly, <laughs> I found the applied science section. <laughs> <laughs> Riley, as you go to look at the books, what you find is the history of Rosante. <laughs> and as you peel through it, it's an accounting book. No, oh, I don't care about accounting. It lists off family names, how much people donated to the C, how much they received. You also see the change in when they clearly started making contact with the deep ones if Anja had been talking to you about kind of what she saw earlier. If we, yeah, we probably would have uh, discussed yeah. it on the way as one of the many topics apparently we talked about on the way here. You see the incoming gold and the wealth earned by various families 
and you start seeing lists of individuals' names. Ten every couple of 25 years or so. You get to the last page, and I don't know if you're actually really interested in any of this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> you see the list of names. You see, let me see here. Oh, you see Kenley Holmes, uh, Frayne Tripp, Riley Hamilton, Bray Patton. You see ladies' names. You see Jolene Sanderson. You see Erling Sonny. And you see one Isabella or Isabel Walby. Uh, and that's what you see. Isabel. Bran, you're in a different room. Uh, yes, I am. You see, again, this very large library, very thick curtains. Gold is on the sheath of every book. Gold lines, the bookcases you see here and there. The stairwell itself leading down, there are gems and rubies whirling around the stairs. And if you make your way down, all of you hear mm -hmm. an ear piercing scream. Oh. And Bran, you see a small figure fleeing away from the open windows. That was leading outside with a familiar looking satchel of stone. God damn it. And the light coming in from the now open curtain really shows you the voice reveals, that's the word I was thinking of, the face of a young freckled boy, 10 to 13 years old looking far paler than any young man should at that age, staring out the window. And if you look outside... I will go right up to him to kind of, like, capture him, but also look outside the window. Look outside the window. He's pointing out the window to you. He doesn't seem to recognize who you are. And you look out the window, and you see the edge of the cove this harbor in there you see a large lanky thing that has no earthly right to come up above the surface of the water with eyes glowing a blue green in the moonlight and then a splash of water give me a wisdom saving throw Oh, come on, Bran. Now, while I'm rolling this, I'd like to ask, how big are we talking about? Uh, imagine the size Ooh. of a hill giant. I saw but a that starved giant where you can see his rib cage curling up inside. Very similar to this, I would imagine. And uh, sucks for you guys at home who can't see the full image of this. It's terrifying. <sighs> I rolled that. Oh, God. that one. God damn it. For a total of five. Okay. <sighs> this is probably the meanest. I'm going to tell you, all of these DCs are very low at this. I don't expect yeah. you to fail them. <laughs> damn it. Well, then don't give us the saves. <laughs> you have one level of dread already. Oh no. Or natural one failure, add three more. What? Three more levels of dread. So I am at four levels of dread. What the hell does and that what does do? this indicate? To make one more wisdom saving. Come throw. on, Bran. High wisdom character. I know. What the f eight. So I rolled a four. God damn it. DC eight. <laughs> oh, you just avoided oh. gaining the first insanity 
of the game. In some oh ways, I'm God, a little disappointed. Fuck in the third session. That's awesome. And with that, let's go ahead and end the show tonight. Ah! <laughs> we found the thief. Though, uh, huh? I would like to ask, have I captured the thief? You have captured the thief. Okay. You may level up to two now. Yay! Hooray. <laughs> Hooray! I'm a little disappointed I didn't gain an insanity in some what? ways. Uh, I'm willing so to read early. through every book required to become insane. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Riley is aiming to gain all that's the insanities. Why, yeah, that's why you wanted to be a researcher. It's, it's, it's not so I much that that's his goal is to just gain every one listed in the book. And, and just to increase my chances, the first spell I learned was comprehend languages in preparation for <laughs> reading every book possible. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. Oh my god. I can't believe Guys, that, that has been Cthulhu Rises, Everyone Dies. Thanks for your patience <laughs> with my lousy internet and dropping out. Uh, I'd like to thank the sponsors real quick before we <coughs> head on out. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice for when you run a roll like these guys. <laughs> don't buy Pirate Dog Dice because they're known to actually roll better than that. I think we're going to get Carrie to send us some dice. Carrie, can we have some crazy, crazy dice? Uh, and then thanks to our other <laughs> sponsor uh, who helped uh, uh, keep my mind fresh with smelly descriptions. Uh, we need lilac scents games. and fishy uh -huh. sex scent. <laughs> sex sense? didn't want to say sex on the internet because you know my kids like to listen in while I do these things. I but, thought this was uh, mature audiences. It is. You can I can't say whatever help you misbehaving want. children. Uh, but thank you again to <laughs> Adventure Sense. Uh, after smelling the sewers, I tried to plunge my face into flowers, which is where I got the lilac smell from. So I want to give them a special shout out tonight. Also thank them for the Shine Project. And guys, keep an eye out for their Shine RPG and how to RPG with the cats, along with a lot of other projects they do over at Oddfish Games. Again, uh, if you enjoy the show, you can find us here on Twitch. Uh, next game is Saturday at 8 o'clock <laughs> Eastern Time for the Calamity Campaign. Yeah! I'm sure it'll go a lot better than it did for you guys tonight. It won't. Uh, <laughs> Probably not. And if you want to... <laughs> and if you guys want to hop on, uh, play a game, play a one-shot, uh, or discuss this, you can hit us up at Twitter, at mhoboinc at gmail.com, or our Discord site. <laughs> you don't want to look at our hideous faces or you don't want to just see the breaks where everything switches around you can listen to our audio podcasts uh, guys give everyone a wave and we will clock out Aww. bye thank bye. you